Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, we are going to learn the modal verb mögen. Mögen stands for like, okay? First of all, I want to conjugate mögen, but then after, uh, I want to have this with the following examples that we can understand it in details. Let's get started. Mögen, ich mag, du magst. Er mag, sie mag, es mag. So, if I say I like, I'll say ich mag, you like, that would be then du magst, he likes, er mag, she likes, sie mag, es mag stands for it likes, okay? Wir mögen, ihr mögt, sie mögen, sie mögen. Wir mögen stands for we like, ihr mögt, a group of people, two or more, two and more. This would be then, ihr mögt, sie mögen, sie mögen. This with a capital, if it's uh, written with a capital, this means that it's, uh, it is the formal way of saying you and sie, this would be then, they like, which is conjugated the same, sie mögen. If this was too fast, then I want you to repeat after me, please. Ich mag, ich mag, du magst, du magst, er mag, er mag, sie mag, sie mag, es mag, es mag, wir mögen, wir mögen, ihr mögt, ihr mögt, sie mögen, sie mögen. So, let's take a look at the following examples. Here we have, ich mag dich. Dich stands for you, I like you. This would be then, ich mag dich. Ich mag dich. So, if I say you like Istanbul, a nice, a wonderful place, so I'll say then du magst Istanbul. You like Istanbul. Du magst Istanbul. Er mag die Frau nicht. Here in this example we have die Frau, which stands for the woman. He doesn't like the woman. Then this would be then what? Er mag die Frau nicht. Er mag die Frau nicht. Here we have, wir essen Hamburger. We eat Hamburger. Wir essen Hamburger. What do I do if I want to add the mögen model verb? Easy. I will take this in the second position and the infinitive form, which remains the same here in wir conjugation. This will be in the end. So I'll say, we like to eat hamburger. This would be then, wir mögen Hamburger essen. We like eating hamburger. Wir mögen Hamburger essen. Here we have in the next uh, sentence, ihr geht ins Kino. Uh, das Kino, ins Kino stands for to the cinema. You are going to the cinema. If I say you like going to the cinema, then I need to have mögen. Here in the chart we see it, the conjugation, ihr mögt. So we need to have this here as ihr mögt ins Kino gehen. It remains in the infinitive form like ihr mögt ins Kino gehen. This would be then you like going to the cinema. Here we have Sie mögen fliegen. Fliegen means to fly. You like to fly. But this could be also here in the chart as we see Sie mögen. It could be the third plural form but also the polite way of saying you. So if you say you like to fly or they like to fly that would be same with Sie mögen 
it says in, uh, in the infinitive form, but the conjugation will take place here in the second position. So, Sie mögen fliegen stands for you like to or they like to fly. I want you to repeat after me, please. Ich mag dich. Ich mag dich. Du magst Istanbul. Du magst Istanbul. Er mag die Frau nicht. Er mag die Frau nicht. Wir essen Hamburger. Wir essen Hamburger. Wir mögen Hamburger essen. Wir mögen Hamburger essen. Ihr geht ins Kino. Ihr geht ins Kino. Ihr mögt ins Kino gehen. Ihr mögt ins Kino gehen. Sie mögen fliegen. Sie mögen fliegen. Let's continue with the following examples. Here in the sentence it says, Ich mag Pizza essen. I like to eat pizza. In the chart, mögen, uh, we see that ich is conjugated as ich mag. So, the conjugation will take place here in the second position. And the infinitive form essen will be in the ending as usual. So, ich mag pizza essen stands for I like to eat pizza. So, I like to eat pizza is ich mag Pizza essen. In the next sentence it says, Du magst klassische Musik. Classical music is klassische Musik in German. So, mögen in the du form will be conjugated as du magst. So, you like classical music will be du magst klassische Musik. Here could be also a verb, but you can also skip this verb. So, you can uh, leave it as it is and say, Du magst klassische Musik, but it could be also, Du magst klassische Musik hören, that would be also another choice, but this goes also to that meaning, which is, Du magst klassische Musik, you like classical music. In the next sentence it says, Sie mag tanzen. Sie mag, so this is, which pronoun it is the third singular form which stands for sie mag she likes dancing is tanzen in german tanzen dancing so she likes dancing would be then sie mag tanzen okay she likes to dance sie mag tanzen in the next sentence we see Wir mögen Deutsch lernen. Deutsch lernen to learn German, right? And in the chart we see that the conjugation is in the infinitive form, which is mögen. So we will say, wir mögen Deutsch lernen. The infinitive form remains the same in the ending. So we like to learn German. I hope that you like learn German with me as well. So we will say, wir mögen Deutsch lernen. In the next example it says, ihr mögt Tennis spielen. Tennis spielen stands for to play tennis, right? So in the chart we see, mögen is conjugated as ihr mögt, right? Ihr mögt. You like this refers to a group of people, two or more people, right? This would be then ihr. So you'll say you like to play tennis. This would be then ihr mögt tennis spielen in the infinitive form, right? In the next example we see sie mögen, right? Sie mögen, this could be either the polite way of saying you or uh, they, right? Sie mögen. So, Kaffee trinken, to drink coffee, right? Co to drink coffee, Kaffee trinken, 
So you like to drink coffee or they like to drink coffee would be then sie mögen Kaffee trinken. Here we have trinken in the infinitive form. Sie mögen Kaffee trinken. I want you to repeat after me, please. Ich mag Pizza essen. Ich mag Pizza essen. Du magst klassische Musik. Du magst klassische Musik. Sie mag tanzen. Sie mag tanzen. Wir mögen Deutsch lernen. Wir mögen Deutsch lernen. Ihr mögt Tennis spielen. Ihr mögt Tennis spielen. Sie mögen Kaffee trinken. Sie mögen Kaffee trinken. In this video, we have learned the modal verb mögen. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, share this video with those who want to learn the German language and hit the bell button for furthermore videos. In this video, I want to share a Turkish phrase with you which stands for I love Istanbul. Ben İstanbul'u seviyorum. Ben İstanbul'u seviyorum. See you in the next video. Tschüss!